this chair is broken again. Look what happens when I swing away the joystick. It shuts off. This wire apparently is damaged enough now that uh, it's very fragile. Of course this comes at a time where I'm like really busy and I don't have time to screw around with something like this. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just go over to storage and grab a different chair. Um, oop, phone's ringing. Okay, as I was saying, um, phone just rang. That's someone with a house that has a detached workshop I need to go look at. Um, I don't have time to screw with this chair right now. I don't even have time to stop my storage. I guess I'll just need to make sure I do not touch the wiring on this and do not swing it away while I'm in the van. I do have the manual chair in the van though, so um, I think we should be good. I'm tempted though. Yeah, I, I need to get going. Let's go check out this house. This place is definitely out here in the country. It would be perfect. It has a ton of space. There's like a shop and stuff. Apparently it got rented while I was driving out here. They're not 100% sure if it's gonna go through, but they said the person's application got approved and they're waiting to hear back if the people want to proceed. So yeah, there's that I guess. was super random. I uh, got some footage of launching a model rocket from the drone. <laughs> Someone texted me and was like, hey, do you want to bring the drone out and uh, get some footage of someone launching a toy model rocket? I was like, uh, duh. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that today. Um, it's now five o'clock. I still need to fix this chair. Um, we're at peak traffic time, so I'm gonna wait like an hour and a half before traffic dies down. Then go out to storage and see if we can find some parts. Or if not that, maybe just grab a different chair because this thing's gonna leave me stranded again. <laughs> Any, anytime I touch the joystick or try to swing it away, it just shuts off. Um, I, I, can't, I, I will be able to take it apart and fix the wiring, but I need another joystick to use in the meanwhile because I don't wanna take this apart and then have it quit working and then not have another chair here. I'm really frustrated. <laughs> Even the motors on this chair are making weird sounds now. I, uh, I found a joystick laying around here that I can use temporarily. Well, there's something written on the bottom of it. It says loner something? Can't quite read that. It's one of the old monochrome style ones, but it does have light buttons on it. Uh, so I think it should work while I take this one, this one apart and uh, get it fixed. <laughs> yeah. I should probably stop doing that, I'm gonna get stuck. <laughs> um, okay, on this purple Amy Systems chair, I have figured out, I've got some armrests on another chair right here. That chair, it does work, but the motors are kind of screwy on it, so it's gonna be parts. Um, but I've got some armrests for that. I figured out how to mount the controller on this, and I guess I just need to put the armrests on. Oh, joystick, that's the other thing I need. Um, I've got another one around here somewhere. One like this would work, but I don't, I mean, you can see this one's pretty cracked and broken. There's something else I needed to do here. Oh yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna take the guard off my soccer chair. And since this one I'm sitting in is having so many problems and now even the motors are making noise. Think about potentially trying to use this chair as a daily driver. Um, I've got the, uh, I installed the fan system on here for the motors and then the uh, brackets for the uh, soccer guard are on here too, but I mean, I could unbolt all that stuff uh, fairly easily. Yeah, I'm gonna take the soccer guard off of this, take it back to the apartment and see. It is rear-wheel drive, so I don't know if it's gonna fit through the doors. It is very short though. The overall length of this chair is less than the one I'm sitting in. So I think I'm gonna pull the guard off of this and just try it out and see. Because I've got reliable Arnett electronics on here now. It's got good batteries. Suspension on it's good. 
Um, so I think it might be worth checking out at least, because um, this one, I mean, I'm gonna get the joystick fixed on it, but I'm gonna have to take apart the motors again and see what's going on there. These things, I mean, I don't know what's wrong. This, so I've got an M300 over here. That was like the second power chair I ever had. It's behind the pink one. And that thing has been a workhorse. Um, it, I, I got that one two months after they came out with that model. So I don't know if things have changed since then or the quality's declined or maybe I'm just being harder on things. Because I had one of these C300s before and I wore it out in eight months. But I did weigh 315 pounds back then. So I thought maybe that had something to do with it. But I think these chairs are just not designed for the uh, type of abuse that I put them through. Um, I think this Bounder 300M is probably gonna be the way to go. I need to get my insurance stuff uh, straightened out and see if I can get one of those ordered. Um, again, I need to stop screwing around and do what I need to do to make sure I'm taken care of and I'm not gonna keep injuring myself or causing you know further problems by using questionable equipment. Oh, yeah, this is loner right there on the side. I guess that means maybe it'll work. Oh, you know what? I've got this thing right here. Let's plug it in and check it out. Let's see here. Uh, move this out of the way. Yeah, there we go. We got some RNA cables right here. That should be this one here. I forgot I uh, I used a Arnet power pass through setup there to uh, get the fan system working on this. All right, plug this in. Joystick error. O-E-O-O. -O. That's the same error I had on this chair I'm sitting in. I wonder if that means the, uh, the gimbal came unhooked. Okay, well, I'm glad I plugged this in. Um, I've got an uh, Arnett attendant control. Let me go grab that real quick and see if that one's functional. Oh, and by the way, uh, this is an active QR code. If you feel led to send Bitcoin, um, <laughs> yeah. In this briefcase right here, or suitcase. Yeah, there we go. It's an Arnett attendant control. All right, I have never used one of these attendant controls before, so let's see if it works. Hopefully it doesn't screw anything up. Uh, so apparently there's no power switch on it. Um, okay, so you already have to have something installed in the system. Uh, let me keep digging, I should have another joystick somewhere. I'm gonna take this joystick apart while I'm sitting here. I've got, uh, I found my um, wrenches. So the problem with these C300 wheelchairs is they don't really have a frame. Everything is sort of attached to the battery box and the battery box is riveted together. So if you're not very careful or there's a lot of flexing going on, all the rivets start getting loose and then the whole chair just gets really noisy and flexible and feels like it's gonna fall apart underneath you. And I think that's what I potentially triggered <laughs> running around at my friend's place the other day. Okay, I'm real interested to see now if uh, this joystick is having the same problem where the gimbal just unplugged itself. I think it's the same air code. So we'll see here in just a minute. These last two screws out. There we go. All right, drum roll please. Yeah. <gasps> so <clears throat> I was just checking here and I was like, oh yeah, cable's plugged in. But then I looked at the other end of the cable, check it out. It's not plugged in. That's the other end that the joystick gimbal is on. See, it's supposed to plug in right there and this is just flopping around. Now, this just proves my point. This obviously is an older Permobile joystick, but why are we not using some sort of glue or something to hold this stuff in place? I just pushed it back down in there. Now you can see it's connected. Um, it didn't snap into place or anything, so 
There's basically nothing holding that in there. I can't believe it. That's exactly what it was. Same exact problem as this chair I'm sitting in. All right, let's put this thing back together and plug it in. I bet it'll work. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> There's just so many things that could be easily solved and not really cost anyone any money and increase the reliability just on an exponential level. Let's test this out now. Well, what do you know? It appears to work. I'm gonna save my profile names. Yeah, this chair's tuned kind of crazy. All right, um, well, there you go. If you get that error code, I'll have to look at the footage and see what it was. I think it was O-E-O-O -O -O or something. Um, that just means the gimbal has come unhooked inside your joystick because there's no glue or clips or fasteners holding it in place. Entirely sure how I feel about this thing. Uh, it's um, so I can't really get into the van with it because it's rear wheel drive. It's not capable of turning this corner and getting into the driver's seat position. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Um, <laughs> This new controller, it has a lot of power. Do you see those wheelies? That's insane. All right, well, that other chair, I couldn't even get it to go up this bump while I was sitting in it. And trying to get in and out of this van is pretty much impossible. So that thing is not gonna work. I think it's more ideally suited as a soccer chair <laughs> with all the power it has. Um, for now though, I've got the joystick that we fixed. Um, so I'll be able to take this one off the chair get the wiring repaired, put it back together, and then I don't know. Okay, it's the next day. Time to repair this joystick. I've come back out here to my favorite surplus store, and I'm gonna try to find some wire that'll be suitable uh, for replacing the pigtail on this joystick. I need something that's at least four conductor and rated for a lot of flexibility. I'm hoping they should have something here. All right, we have some stuff. Um, aside from a giant drink, that's good fake sugar. I got a, uh, a birthday present from someone. This is uh, actually a friend here locally. She uh, <clears throat> sent me a link to something on Amazon. It's kind of a gag. And I was like, I will totally wear that. It's a hat. You ready for this? <laughs> is this not the best hat ever? Um, I'm totally gonna wear this around outside. It's, uh, oh. And then also, um, I did find some wire uh, to replace this joystick pigtail. Unfortunately, the only high quality stuff they had was not in bulk. It was actually part of a uh, uh, Hall Effect sensor, and it's bright yellow. But this stuff is very high grade, uh, 300 volt wire has this weird connector that I'll probably cut off but it's four conductor uh, stranded and uh, this will work perfectly I'll just have a bright yellow um, thing coming out of here now I guess um, but yeah oh and I also got for two dollars one of the uh, old Verizon Moto Droid carbon fiber edition phones no idea if this powers on or not let's uh, plug it in here and see what happens 
But yeah, for two dollars, I couldn't uh, I couldn't pass this thing up. Let's see here. Hey, it turns on. It's like I don't know if it's missing one of the buttons or part of a button or something here, but uh, seems to work. Yeah, battery's a a little bit low. All right, so we'll leave that here. Uh, I've got our wire. Got my large beverage. Um, I think we're good. I'm gonna cool down for a little bit because it's a little hotter outside than I thought it was. And uh, let's get this party started. We'll fix this chair. It booted up. In a world where people are never satisfied with the size of their drinks, we have the giant drink. Where people are never satisfied with the size of their drinks, we have the giant drink. Well, there you go. Apparently it works. Okay, I've got our um, loner joystick here, uh, and I fixed it yesterday. So I'm going to attempt to remove the um, the little cover here that the cable goes through, so we can disconnect this thing. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and do it while I'm sitting in the chair. Um, I'm trying to avoid getting on the floor as much as possible. So. We'll see how this works. All right, there's one screw. Now let's try for the other one. I know when I took this apart last time, I said I wasn't going to put the wires back inside this little track, but then I just went ahead and did it anyway. This time I can assure you, um, the wires will not be put back under this little cover because this is obnoxious. And I'm not going to be using this chair for that much longer anyways, I'm pretty sure. Alright, second screw. Whew, okay, so you can get the cover off here. This is where it usually breaks. Why won't you come off of here? Alright, this is highly obnoxious. Time to engage a flat blade screwdriver and some prying. There we go. Alright, removed it. Pull this cable out of here. Here we go, plug in the loaner. Let it do its discovery thing, which usually takes a minute or two. It should turn into a power logo when it's done. There we go. Turn it off, wait a couple seconds, turn it back on. And there we go. Now, as you can see here, I am able to move around. And I even have headlight switches now. I should probably attach this to the chair now because trying to hold the joystick by hand while you're running around is not the best of ideas. <coughs> Horn's loud. Okay, let's get this other one off of here. Oh, I forgot. There actually is one thing I need to one thing I need to do first. Um, let me plug this old joystick back in. What I want to do is flex the wire in different areas and try to figure out if I can locate where the brake is before we uh, take it apart. Because um, knowing where that is is going to tell me which part of the wires we need to cut out and repair. So let me plug this old joystick back in here. We've got our old joystick plugged back in here. I'm going to flex the wire in a few different areas and see if we can figure out where the brake is. Oh, seems to be back here. Yeah, so if I grab the wire clear back here, it just turns off. Cool, so that tells us where the brake is. That's going to make it a lot easier to know which part of the wire I need to replace. I'm probably going to be replacing most of the entire thing just because I don't want external joints. Uh, we are going to be soldering it together, but I still prefer to have as few connections as possible. So I've got the loaner plugged back in here. I keep calling it loaner. This is mine. It just happens to have the words loaner printed on the side of it. So it's going to have to do its little boot up discovery thing again. There we go. Turn that off, turn it back on. And now, now I can move around again. All right, let's get the soldering iron powered up uh, and get this project started. It appears as though our break in the cable is back here. So let me see how long the new one is that I bought. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take apart this joystick and then we're gonna replace the entire length of cable and I'll probably cut this somewhere down here where I know the cable is good and we'll make our connection point back to the Arnett cable down here. I'm probably gonna time lapse most of this again 
because it's really hot outside and I want to run the air conditioner and also listen to some podcasts. I'll stop in a few places though and point some things out, but uh, for the most part, sit back and enjoy. Okay, so the main pigtail ca cable comes in through the bottom here and it's held in place with this clamp, which you can just kind of kind of pull out of here. There we go. Clip is removed. And then this will sort of pull through, give you a little bit of room to work. Now, those go up here and connect. Um, okay, this is somewhat obnoxious now. Two of the wires go right to this connector, which means I'm gonna have to cut and resolder them inside here, which I don't necessarily want to do. Um, well, Maybe I am gonna make the repair on the outside of this thing. Screw it, I've got heat shrink tubing and enough stuff to uh, make it solid. I guess uh, I've changed my mind here. We're gonna go ahead and just cut the cable on the outside because I don't really feel like messing with all these little tiny wires in here. So we're gonna put this clip back in just because I'm feeling too lazy or efficient or something like that. Clip is reinstalled, so let's go ahead and uh, Flip this thing over here. We'll grab our cutters. Uh, probably cut this yeah, somewhere in this area and uh, attach our new wire. This goes against everything that seems right and proper, but we're just we're cutting a joystick cable in half. <laughs> and uh, looks like there's the least amount of damage down here. So we'll go ahead and make this the other end. This is our bad piece, which we're not going to be needing. These wire strippers are nice because they automatically adjust to any size wire that you're using. And you can uh, very easily strip them all without screwing around. I'm going to get some heat shrink tubing here, so figure out the sizes we need for this. Figure out how long we want it to be. Plus a little bit, just because, you know, a little bit more the merrier, right? Okay. Throw that away, throw that away. Now when I'm soldering things like this, I like to, um, I like to get the wires so they're just kind of stuck together and you sort of put the two ends together so they're overlapping like this and everything's nice and flat and you'll have the least amount of uh, resistance there. Then you solder them like that, put your heat shrink tubing over the top. Uh, this camera is about to overheat so I'm gonna give it a break for a minute and then we'll continue. Okay, we've got this side of the uh, joystick now all set up and good to go. You can see we've got each wire soldered and heat shrink on there and it all lays nice and flat. So I'm gonna get a larger piece of heat shrink tube now, actually a couple of them, and I'm gonna add a layer, a protective layer of electrical tape in here, then we're gonna put a sheathing of heat shrink tube over the top of this, and then we should be good to go. And it looks like my gasket here is falling out of this joystick. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back together now since I am not gonna be doing any soldering inside of it, and uh, we'll continue from the outside. I suppose while we're inside here, we can check up on our glue. Uh, looks like that's still holding this connector just fine. <laughs> Sweet. Although it is interesting though, the temporary one I'm using, this is where it came disconnected. Uh, this one seems to be in there pretty good. But yeah, it's just uh, strange. I did just remember though, I need to take a picture of this wiring because it is slightly different and I need to make sure the other end is wired up properly. So we'll get a picture of that here real quick. All right, there we go. Okay, we're halfway done. We now have a joystick, this big wad of weirdness, and bright yellow wire. Uh, this, however, is very flexible. It's very well protected. 
and it's gonna work for now. Like I said, I'm not gonna be using this chair that much longer. So, um, just need to connect the other end up to this, and we're done. I just realized I forgot to put the larger heat shrink tube over this whole thing before I soldered and put it on here. Uh, that's annoying. Um, well, I guess technically this part's gonna be inside the back of the chair, so... These connections should be good. I guess we'll just use electrical tape and call it a day. I'm not sure what else to do. Alright, unplugging the loaner. And plugging in this one. doing its little loading thing that wants to restart. By the way, um, your ICS switches will do this weird um, red and white flashing thing when it wants you to restart. So if you see that after swapping joysticks, that's fine. Uh, so we'll turn this off, turn it back on. And there we go, looks like we're good. All right, we have, a, we have a functioning joystick again. Let's reinstall it. Turn off the soldering iron. And uh, yeah, another repair. How many times would I have had to have this replaced by insurance now? Um, let me, here, let's, let's see how many miles are on this chair. I don't even think it's that old. All right, this chair doesn't even have a thousand miles on it. Seriously. Um. So, I don't know. I guess it comes in handy being able to fix your own stuff. But, uh, yeah. Time to get some food. I'm uh, going to transfer into this super sketchy looking office chair. And uh, we're going to get the rest of this wiring here uh, tidied up. I turned this thing on a minute ago. And it was giving me an M1 motor error. So, I took the back part of the cover off. And the connections were a little bit loose going to the controller. If you have a C300, do not take it off-road. Um, these things will just fall apart if you do that, apparently. I don't know what I think. Like, I like this hat, but I'm not a fan of the curved thing. Eh. I'm in this really sketchy office chair now. Um, and uh, let's get this wiring tied up. Uh, I want to run it in a way that's going to minimize the amount of wire stretchiness. Okay, I think I figured it out. Uh, I've got the wire coming down here, and then it's running in this track. And then from there, I'm zip tying it down. Uh, the way I hang the seat belt on the back. Well, hopefully that doesn't interfere with it, but as you can see, you can tilt this up and the wires pretty much stay where they're supposed to. Got a disconnect point here now instead of in here. But I do believe this will provide a little bit more strain relief, so these wires should last a while, hopefully. But again, this is just a patch till I move and then can use another chair, but I think for now we're good.